Excuse me, little dog. Hi, guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, and I'm pretty sure a record hot Tuesday, October 3rd. 2023 uh, here in the collapse of everything at Bugs in a Jar Farm in the Finger Lakes of New York where I think it's about 83 degrees right now uh, on this little bit smoky day here in the collapse of everything. So I'm sitting here uh, just kind of relaxing having an enjoying the last few days of summer before the shit returns this weekend. But, uh, you know, here at the vacation rental business, I was having this very discussion with, uh, with somebody here just a few nights ago uh, talking about this. We were looking at the stars and these damn satellites. It was like there were like three satellites going across the sky at, at one time and we were lamenting about uh, just the number of these damn things uh, gumming up the night skies. And uh, the New York Times obviously Maybe that was a New York Times reporter. I think that I think that lady was from New York City. Maybe it was a New York Times reporter. But the New York Times is on it. And uh, bringing us, well, Becky Ferrero. Is, it, is her name Becky? I, anyway. Take it away, New York Times and chronicle the collapse of the night sky. Uh, good Lord, this shit just never ends, guys. A new satellite outshines some of the brightest stars in the sky. Last November, a satellite in low Earth orbit unfurled into an expansive array that extends across nearly 700 square feet, about the size of a studio apartment. The satellite, named Blue Walker 3, has since become one of the brightest objects in the sky, outshining some of the most radiant stars in the Milky Way, according to a study published on Monday in Nature. And it, this one satellite, is just the first of dozens of similar satellites that are in development by AST Spacemobile, Spacemobile, a company that aims to keep smartphones connected from orbit. This is all about your smartphone. This is called trading in the Milky Way for better smartphone reception. And you wonder what the collapse of everything is going to look like. Astronomers were already worried about the emergence of satellite mega constellations. Satellite mega constellations. There's a new word uh, for the glossary of the collapse. Astronomers were already worried about the emergence of satellite mega constellations such as SpaceX's Starlink, which have shiny surfaces that at times interfere with views of space from the ground. The launch and deployment of Blue Walker 3 have compounded those concerns. Uh, this is Sigrid, Siegfried Egel, an astrophysicist at the University of Illinois and an author of the new study. Quote, the issue is not necessarily that one satellite. 
but that it is a predecessor or prototype of a constellation. So there is going to be a lot of those out there eventually. Close quote. Do you think so? Initially launched in September of 2022, Blue Walker 3 is the forerunner of AST Spacemobile's Bluebird satellites, which aim to serve as a network of orbital cell towers with the goal, quote, to democratize to democratize access to knowledge and information regardless of where people live and work. Yes, a spokesperson for the company said, Last month, Blue Walker 3 successfully relayed its first 5G connection to a smartphone in a cellular coverage gap on Earth, such as bugs in a jar farm. I live in a in a uh, cellular coverage gap. I am coming at you from. I'm glad to say, AST Spacemobile is one of many companies racing to capture the surging demand for global broadband connectivity. SpaceX has already launched about 5,000 satellites into space as part of its Starlink network, which already provides satellite internet services to customers around the world. Other companies, such as Amazon, which is scheduled to launch its first prototype satellite on Friday, three days from now, and one web have similar ambitions, and many countries, in addition to private corporations, are developing their own communications mega constellations. Said Egley, at the moment, there are 18 constellations that we know are planned all over the world. The total number of satellites, you know, in these 18 uh, on the drawing board <coughs> is a stunning half a million, otherwise known as 500,000 satellites that people are planning to put up there. This is 100 times, 100 times more than we already have, close quote. So on the drawing board right now, guys, you, you take this crap, multiply it times 100. Jeez. The rapid proliferation of satellites in recent years has alarmed stargazers from all walks of life. As spacecraft move across the sky, they create bright trails and an ambient glow in the sky that can destroy astronomical images and obscure fainter celestial objects that would otherwise be visible to the naked eye. This is Jeremy uh, Reed, an astronomer uh, from Chile, and another author of the study, quote, it's going to be a major change with these constellations. Do you think so? AST Spacemobile made Blue Walker 3's array so large in order to beam strong cell phone coverage directly to phones on Earth. The satellite is made of many small antennas that can connect existing smartphones which is an approach that distinguishes the company from Starlink 
and other planned constellations that currently rely on ground antennas or dishes. Uh, to find the specific impact of Blue Walker 3, the authors of the new study compiled observations of the satellite recorded by amateur and professional astronomers in the U.S., Chile, Mexico, New Zealand, the Netherlands, and Morocco. Uh, this global campaign revealed that Blue Walker 3 reached a magnitude that made it as bright as Procyon and Achernar, two of the ten most luminous stars in the sky. Sky, according to the study, this is uh, Samantha Lawler, an astronomer from Saskatchewan. Quote, I really like how they used many different telescopes from many different places in the world. It highlights how this is truly a global problem. One country or one small company launches a satellite and it can be seen everywhere in the world. AST Spacemobile said it was working with astronomers on techniques to reduce disruptions. Yes, it also contrasted the number in its constellation with the tens of thousands of others planned by other companies. The spokesperson said that it could, quote, provide substantial global coverage with around 90 satellites. Though Bluebird satellites would be fewer in number, they are at least 64 times 64 times as big and bright as Starlink satellites. The SpaceX orbiters are also brightest in the days after their deployment, but become fainter once they settle into their orbits. Astronomers expect that the Bluebird satellites will remain bright in the sky throughout most of their lifetime. As a consequence, one of these satellites could interfere with data captured by astronomical observatories. Uh, said Egel, quote, they are so bright that they will ruin entire images that are recorded with large-scale telescopes such as the Vera Rubin Observatory, for instance. There are currently no regulations that prevent companies from launching bright and voluminous satellite constellations though many scientists and dark sky advocates, including indigenous rights groups, are making the case for rules, and even as many companies make efforts to darken their satellites, they continue launching them at a breakneck pace. Said Reed, quote, we should not have progress at any cost. It's like building a brand new development over a historical site. <clears throat> you can't just do that. Well, yes you can. You have to protect these things. Close quote. He also acknowledged that astronomers don't own the night sky, but have a vested interest in preserving it. Quote, what we would like to do is share the night sky and get the public to understand that this is a potential issue. Oh, Jesus, guys. You know, it's, it's everywhere 
you, you turn now. There is nowhere to run. There is nowhere to hide. Uh, we, we have filled up this entire planet with this crap. We've already got these cell phone towers and all of this crap all over, all over our own planet. Now we got the sky full of this. You cannot go into space anymore to, to escape the, 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 this crap. And I, I just wonder, how long after humans are extinct, after we mercifully drive ourselves to extinction, how long are, are, are these damn satellites going to be beaming this shit to 8 billion dead people's cell phones. Uh, anyway. I've got to wrap this up because I want to get out there and look at some of these beautiful leaves on this gorgeous day. While I still can. At least I can, well... I can sort of still enjoy the sunny blue sky during the day, although it looks like we have some Canadian wildfire smoke uh, rolling into our gorgeous blue skies. October and this damn wildfire smoke. The wildfire smoke doesn't ruin your, your daylight sky. The goddamn uh, satellites are going to ruin your nighttime sky. Bye, guys.